This is Maria Reyes McDavis for MariaReyesMcDavis.com and we are going to embed a Viddler video onto a blog post or the same could go for a blog page. And the reason why I choose Viddler um, in general is the customization and the branding of not only the player but the widgets is widgets is what Viddler calls it. The widgets allow you to do some pretty cool things. For instance, on my I Am Diva, uh, Digital Diva TV channel, Viddler allows me to keep a permanent archive um, with the latest video always showing at the front, a permanent archive of all the videos um, that I've completed on this particular channel really really handy so what you're gonna do is go in to add a new post and we're gonna do here t test video post now what you want to do when in WordPress is you want to add all of your copy do all of your formatting add all of your links add everything to the post before you embed the code in it so for example, here is a book review I did for the Internet Marketing Book eBootCamp with Corey Perlman. All of this text, these links, this formatting, all of this I put in to the post before I cut and paste the embed code. And the reason being is once you've got all your formatting and your other text besides the video in there, you'll go to the HTML side and you'll type in code and center that tells it that you're going to, going to be inserting some code and you want it centered you'll put this wherever you want the video to show so when I embedded this video in my blog post I literally put code and center and, and the coding in between here and here because that's where I wanted it to show up so then you'll go down you'll close the center tag and you'll close the code tag you're going to go to your video site and let's go to um, your videos. Uh, we're using the example of Alice T. Chan. You're going to click on the video title of the video that you would like to embed and you're going to click embed this. I'm going to go here Let me close this really quick. Okay. I'm going to go embed this, and a little window is going to pop up. What I would recommend is that you do the default embed. This is going to make sure that your player is going to show up, and the video is actually going to show up in a timely manner. The larger you make the video, or if you customize it, the longer it's going to take for that video to upload. So either do the default or do the Viddler, whichever one that you want to do. And you're always going to use the standard HTML. You're going to click this code, click Control C so that it copies the code. You're going to go to your blog post and you're going to click Control V and that's going to paste the code. You're going to go through and fill out your post or your page exactly as you would before. You're always going to insert the video code last on the HTML side. Once you click publish, and we're going to do that really quick here, that video from Viddler, you could do the same thing with the YouTube, Yahoo, Google video, AOL video, any video site that allows you to embed the code. So we're going to go to Alice's blog right here, and we will see this post with the video right there on top and there it is and that's it you can embed uh, with the this is called a raw embed this means you're taking the raw code and you're just embedding it into the blog post remember always insert this code last so make sure your entire post is done all of your little options here your tags your categories your SEO pack right here make sure that it's an index and follow if this is a blog post that you're posting then you insert your code click publish and you're good to go and that's it for how to embed a video into your blog this is Maria Reyes McDavis for MariaReyesMcDavis.com